How's it going guys? Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the chances of a team world for uh, Rugby Union, obviously. Uh, so, obviously this is never going to happen. Well, unless we have some sort of alien wipeout or apocalyptic scenario where we have to play against aliens with a team world of a Rugby Union team. But the chances of that are not going to happen. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, so basically, I gathered, uh, well... Yeah, I gathered up one player from every nation from the top 20 teams. Uh, so here's the top 20 list. Uh, as you can see, New Zealand, uh, England, Ireland, and all the top five and stuff. And then we go out then of the top 10, which is Japan, Georgia, Tonga, and then goes all the way to Russia and Spain and stuff. So uh, yeah, I had to pick one player from each team and uh, try and make a rugby team out of them. And yeah, so obviously we've got the 15 players to start, and then we got the other five players, which will be on a bench. Uh, so yeah, All right. So uh, our two props, number one and two, we have an American called Eric Fry. You've probably seen him before. He's played in the Rugby World Cup and many other tournaments of America. Uh, and then we got our number two, which is John Zaba Zabala. I think that's how it's said. Uh, he plays in Spain, um, and I. I don't know what club he plays with, but I think it's a professional club. He's probably he's the one of the most successful Spanish rugby players there is. So yeah, so not a bad start. I didn't, I thought anyway. And uh, yeah, moving on to the next ones, uh, we've got number three then, which is Mario Segario. Uh, he's recently signed for Munster. Uh, he's the Uruguayan, so uh, I thought may as well put him in. Uh, he is currently one of the most professional Uruguayan rugby players, as I know of anyway. Uh, there hasn't been many of them, so it's quite a good achievement for the player, and yeah, that's why I picked him as the main Uruguayan to be in the team. Uh, then we got Eben Etzebeth, I think it's Etzebeth or Etzebeth, uh, yeah, as our number four. Uh, obviously him being one of the greatest South African players they have at the moment, of this generation anyway. I know South Africa's kind of gone downhill lately with some of the games they've been playing, but I think eventually by the next World Cup they'll be playing well and they'll be competing for the title yet again. Um, but yeah, even Etzebeth is probably one of the best players they have at the moment in my opinion anyway. So uh, yeah, that's why he's number four. Uh, so our uh, then number five, six and seven. Number five we got Scotland's Johnny Gay. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Gay. <laughs> uh, Johnny Gray. Um, so yeah, uh, the reason I picked him was because I needed, the, well, Bear in mind, it's actually pretty difficult to get every player in a position for the team world. Um, but yeah, Johnny Gray is a very good player, and yeah, also brothers with Richard Gray, who is another good player, so that's why he's number five. Uh, obviously, me being Welsh, I went in my captain in it, and that's Sam Warburton. Uh, some people have mixed views on this, uh, with him being the captain of the Lions as well, but I thought he really is a good player. Uh, he hasn't had good form lately, but when he's on form, he's an amazing player. And uh, yeah, I thought he should be the one Welsh player to go in the team. Uh, so yeah, number seven, then we got Mamuka Gorgodza. Uh, he's the Georgian captain. Uh, you've probably seen him in Rugby World Cup if you've been watching all the games. Uh, yeah, he's a very good player. He He's playing for Toulon, or Toulouse. I think, I think it's Toulon. Um, but yeah, very good player, very talented, and probably one of Georgia's best players. So moving on to the next ones, we have uh, number eight, nine, and ten. Number eight, I picked Jamie Heaslip, a good Irish player, a lot of experience, and uh, yeah, had, he used to be captain for Ireland as well. So you kind of got the captaincy and to be able to control the game there as well. Uh, number nine, then we have Khan Fotoalihi. He used to play for the Ospreys. I think he now plays for Northampton. Unless he's moved, that's last time I checked up anyway. Uh, the Samoan, very good player, scrum half. Um, very experienced, played a lot of games in the Rugby World Cups and other tournaments. And uh, yeah, good player to be on Team World. Uh, then our number ten, then, is Nicolas Sanchez. Uh, very good player as well. I don't know if you saw him recently on the tour England went to Argentina. Uh, he didn't miss many kicks, and uh, yeah, he's a very talented and experienced player. He's played in a, a few World Cups now, I think, two or three. And uh, yeah, he's a player to watch in any game that you watch of Argentina, so yeah, he has to be in the team. 
Um, and then we've got 11, 12 and 13. Uh, number 11, I picked the All Black Julian Surveyor. That's probably one of the best players they have on the All Blacks team at the moment. Uh, he's very young as well, so yeah, he's probably uh, got a bright future ahead of him. Uh, number 12, then we've got Owen Farrell. Uh, he's England's one of, well, one of England's best players, I feel anyway. Uh, very good kicker, uh, very reliable in defence occasionally. Obviously, everybody has their errors. Um, but yeah, controls the game, can see chances, and yeah, good player. Uh, then we got Nemani Nodolo. Is it Nodolo? Yeah, Nodolo. Uh, he played in the Rugby World Cup 2015. That's the last time I saw him because I haven't watched any other Fiji games. Uh, but he's a very big player, very strong, um, good in the air as well. Uh, basically, your chances of catching the ball against him in the air is probably like 100 to 1 most of the time he catches it. So, uh, yeah, that's a good thing to have, and that's why he's in Team World. And then we've got 14 and 15. I picked Israel Folau on the wing. I know Israel Folau is usually a fullback, but I thought to have. Ayumu Goromaro in a fullback as well because he's a very good fullback. He's signed for a Super Rugby team now. Was playing with Toulon, uh, so I felt he deserved a spot as 15. He probably plays better 15 than Israel Folau is obviously fast-paced as well. So move him to the wing, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be a good partnership there. Um, and then we've got on the bench, we've got Matthew. Is it, well, it'd be Matthew to me because obviously I'm British, but is it, I think it's Matt. Matthew, Matt, I don't know, Bastero, uh, very strong player, uh, very hard to tackle, very good in defence, um, so yeah, good player to have on the bench to come on, say 60 minutes, and yeah, destroy people, <laughs> um, or in this case, aliens, <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, Florin, excuse my pronunciation, Florin Vlaisu, I think it is anyway, he's the most experienced Romanian player they have. Uh, I did watch him in the rugby. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I did watch him in the rugby world cup. Uh, very good kicker. Can kick from the halfway line. Accuracy is very good. Um, I think he won the game. Is it Romania versus Canada? I think it was in the rugby world cup 2015. Um, but yeah, very good player and obviously a very reliable player to have coming off the bench. And then our final ones then, which is the other bench, and well, the other bench, the other bench players. Uh, Sergio Parise, obviously he's a lot of, got a lot of experience, captain of Italy, uh, very strong player, uh, good at controlling the game obviously with him being captain, um, so yeah, that's why I picked him. Uh, then we've got Nili, La, Nili Latu, another, again, another massive player, um, the chances of tackling him when he's full on running is uh, very, very low, and uh, yeah, that's why you create chances and run at people and yeah, that would be a good player to bring on i say 60-70 minutes and then our final one is Yuri K Kush hang on Kushnerev, Yuri Kushnerev uh, he is Russia's top player at the moment I don't know what position he plays, he's a kicker anyway so I'm guessing 15 or 10 um, but yeah he's their best player, I don't know much about him sorry if there's any Russian fans there um, but yeah, that's why I picked him because if you search Russian play Russian rugby players on Google, he's the top one that comes up. So um, yeah, that's why I picked him. So uh, as always, guys, don't forget to leave a like and comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. I actually really enjoyed making it. A lot of effort went into making these pictures and stuff. Um, let me know if there's any countries you'd like to see me uh, add into this team, and or if there's any players you felt that shouldn't have been there and that the replacements that you would have instead um, yeah if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe uh, I do plenty of other rugby videos as well uh, there'll be rugby gameplays coming up and there'll be loads of other stuff sorry I need fruit in my mouth <laughs> um, but yeah thanks for watching guys I will see you in the next one peace out